This is Larry Jordan, the host of the Digital Production Buzz. The following interview is an excerpt from a recent program. To hear the entire program, visit digitalproductionbuzz.com. Suzanne Lachasse is a Los Angeles-based producer and actor. She and her husband, Ryan Williams, own and operate Screen Actors System, which won the Backstage Magazine's Reader's Choice Award for Best On-Camera Acting Class in Los Angeles. Suzanne is also currently a lead actor in a six-episode series of an edgy new comedy crime series called Sketchy. Hello, Suzanne. Welcome. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Happy to be here. No, I was just realizing you were the model in those photographs that I we was. looked at before. Yes. What was it that decided that modeling was not the only place you wanted to spend your time, but you wanted to become an actor? Well, you know, growing up, as we were saying, as a redhead in Los Angeles in this sort of sea of beautiful blondes and brunettes, <laughs> you, 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 you stand out a lot and you're the butt of many people's jokes. So I would stay home and I would watch movies and that was sort of my inspiration for acting, you know, to pretend to, uh, to, to be other people because nobody liked me. And really, yeah, you know, seriously, people made fun of me, you know, as you get older, you know, boys like you cause you're a redhead, but when you're, when you're a little kid growing up, it's, it's tough. So the redhead thing really is, it's, it's tough growing it's up like as a redhead, plague. isn't it? It's horrible. Unless you live in Scotland or something like that with your, where all the yes, Vikings And then you're not out. special at all. You're yeah. Just, well, that's true. Everybody is, you know. But you know everybody wants to be a redhead. Now. See, I, I never thought of redheads as special because I only had one sister and she had red hair. So I figured everybody growing up must have red hair. And, and so I, can, I can't really associate with the pain that you went through because it's always been a normal part of my life. Mm. So it's that's actually nice a mutation. To hear, it's nice to hear the other, the other side. They call it a mutation. Is that what it's is, called? Um, yes. Mm, she just called it red hair. It is. It, it, is, it is a mutation. It is a mutation that's of right. a... The awesome gene. So, An awesome gene. The awesome it's gene. It's the awesome gene. That I it is a mutation of the awesome gene. In me. That's yes. right. Which is which is why which is why she's got such a great self image now. It's the awesome gene. The awesome gene. Yeah. I'm not narcissistic. I'm, I'm just I'm waiting for the awesomeness wave to pass for yes, just sir. a moment. I was just thinking acting is not for the faint of heart, especially when you want to become a professional actor as opposed to just dabbling in it. What do you find are the biggest challenges to being an actor? I think the biggest challenge is in, in being a film actor is uh, having really good minimum movement. And you guys are editors, so you'll know that um, cutting together scenes with people waving their arms through the scene or, you know, indicating with, uh, you know, a furrowed brow or, um, you know, being too loud or, or trying to push for the emotion. Um, those are just camera considerations, but they're very important if you want to be on, on film, uh, television. If you're a theater actor, you know, you, you're taught to be very third circle. The audience is, is part of the scene with you and you have to indicate and, you know, the people in the balcony are, you know, they can't see you. So you, you do different things with your face, but on camera, the camera sees everything. So you can be much more subtle. Um, so I think, I think film actors have, uh, you know, a little bit more work to do in terms of, you know, being able to have an emotion and having it kind of, if you think of it as, Building it up in, in a dam behind your eyes and having all of that intensity go through your eyes, I think, is very important. What about uh, film acting versus theater acting, which gives you the, uh, uh, let's say, the, the most creative happiness, for lack, <laughs> lack of a well, better word? I think, you know, I did theater when I was little, and it was so much fun because you get that instant gratification right. of being on stage. Um, you know, you can hear the people laugh, you can hear the people cry and sob and sad, um, and people greet you outside of the theater. It's it's a fun, you know, sort of thing. You get that with improv comedy as well. Um, but with film, it's sort of this, you know, at least for me, it's this self-loathing process where I just intensely yeah. look at myself and why did I furrow my brow there? Or why did I say it that way? Or should have done this better. And, you know, watching dailies is, is uh, you know, you, that's that's how you get good at being a film actor. You, you study yourself and well, be subtle. Are you studying yourself after you've done the performance or when you're rehearsing? Are you rehearsing in front of a mirror to try to get a sense of how you're looking? Sometimes. But I do that alone. I don't want people I, to see me do well, that. I'm not saying in a group, but I'm just saying you were talking about the fact that mm -hmm. the way that you furrow your brow or the fact that television is such an up-close media that mm -hmm. a small gesture has a huge meaning. It does. How do you practice that? 
Uh, by being in a really good scene study class. And um, those are hard to find because um, m- most scene study classes in, in Los Angeles, at least the ones that I've been to, uh, cater more to the theatrical um, because, you know, they're in a, in a large forum. There's there's a lot of people around. They have to, you know, fill a four-hour class with uh, entertainment and get people coming back. Um, but if you can find a really good uh, film acting class that really stresses, you know, minimum movement and points of focus and, um, you know, heavy text analysis, then 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 you're in good shape. And I, I think every actor should be training, even if you think you know it all, even if you're coming at it from sure. that very technical point of view. Um, it's a muscle, and uh, if you take any time off, you lose it. No, really it's, it's very important that you use that word, that that muscle. Uh, mm-hmm. I was an actor a long time ago. I gave it up in uh, in 2000 to pursue something else. And uh, if I were to act today after not doing it for 15 You'd years, be a rusty. I would suck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would mm-hmm. absolutely suck because I've lost that muscle. Mm-hmm. I didn't keep that muscle up, and it is a muscle. It is not like riding a bike. No, no. It's like, I don't know, playing football? I don't know what the, I don't, honestly, I don't know what the analogy would be, (laughs) Mm -hmm. but it is something you must work at all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you're not working on, on, on a uh, movie, then you are working in a class. Absolutely. And if you don't do that, I'm sorry, you you, you lose it. Even the best actors, you know, Oscar winners, they, they get together. They, they're, I think there's a scene study class in the hills somewhere. And they all get together. And they no, when I was doing that, I was working with all those people. Mm-hmm. And when we were all we're all just working all the time. Yes. Because otherwise we'd lose it. You lose we're it? We're too scared to lose. You know, we're just you know, too if you don't use it, you lose it. Yep. So thinking about that, what are your most valuable skills as an actor? You personally, not just in general. Is it your ability to, to memorize lines? Is it your ability to carry an emotion? Is it, what would you think your, because... I'm leading into uh, the whole idea of whether you should cast yourself in a particular role, a particular genre or not. Mm. So what are your, well, how would you define your skills? How would I define my skills? I think I'm very good at story, text analysis, which is really important. Um, you know, when, when you get a scene, it's really important to know what page the scene is in the script. Um, you know, The Hero's Journey by uh, Joseph Campbell kind of outlines, you know, uh, George Lucas uses for Star Wars. You know, where are you? What's going on? The character isn't always the same in every part of the script. It's important to know where they are, what they're feeling, what they've just been through, where they're coming from, where they're going. Um, you know, it's not just memorizing lines on a page. It's it's actually knowing where the story's going. I think a lot of actors, they, they're they so used to these scene study classes where they're um, rehearsing in a parking lot. They're getting the scene the same day that they're, you know, get there. They rehearse in a parking lot for an hour and then they put it up in a showcase forum and, and uh, they cement their lines and they, they get used to saying their lines in a certain way. If you use heavy text analysis, then you can, as Julianne Moore would say, paint it with emotion and, and really go there and, and uh, know the story and, and make it interesting. Um, so me personally as an actor, I think I, I come at it from more of a comedic uh, sort of jackass way. Um, I know I'm really good at doing that, uh, but I, I do like drama. Um, but for me, I think my, my, my thing that I'm really good at is text analysis. I know that's helped me. When you say text analysis, though, isn't that... It? I mean, obviously, that's important from from an actor's standpoint. But that's mm-hmm. also important from a director's. You almost sound like a director more than more than. I an think. Actor. I think if you are are, you know, for me personally, uh, when I first started acting, I, I just was very singular in my thinking of the actor is like the most important person, and and that is that's all I'm going to concentrate right. on. <laughs> um, but yes. you know, once I once I started working with the Screen Actors System and my husband. Um, who's a director, I realized, my God, there's so much that goes into it. You know, I started editing and I realized, wow, I don't like this. I need to stop doing this. This is easier to edit when I do this. And that really helped me. So getting sort of a behind the scenes um, vibe, uh, you know, going towards my acting really helped me. Um, If you can direct and you can edit and you can produce and you can write, then I think that makes you a better actor. Can you direct and produce and edit I sure can. Okay, there you go. Because back in my day, <laughs> we didn't have, we couldn't do that. I mean, the reason I actually gave up the the acting thing was because all of a sudden I was afforded the opportunity to edit and direct mm-hmm. and write. Mm-hmm. Before that, it cost too much money. Mm-hmm. Then it became democratized with Final Cut Pro mm-hmm. and uh, other and DV cameras and things like that. 
And then everybody, every actor started doing that because we didn't have to rely on our agents or our auditions. We just started doing our own thing. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, everything's so cheap nowadays. Like you were saying with the new 4K camera, it's under, what was it, $700? My God. Um, someone can just, people are shooting full length movies with, with their, with their iPhone. I know. And there's no excuses. And we, we have Tangerine coming out, a brilliant movie that's out this week, uh, shot on an iPhone, iPhone 5S. Martin Scorsese has an iPhone, uh, uh, a little, a little scene in uh, Wolf of Wall Street from an iPhone. Who knew? Yeah. Well, we got you anaphor- can't tell. anamorphic lenses for iPhones and things like go out and shoot your own movie. There are no excuses. Mm-hmm. There are no excuses. Go out and film yourself. One of the that's things right. that you mentioned is you've described yourself as a comedic actor. Just hang with me for a second. But that was the term that you used. I've heard that a good actor can handle any role. And yet I've also heard that actors should know their type and play to their type. What's your opinion? Um, I think you you definitely need to know how to market yourself. Yeah. You know, what do people see when they first look at you? When you're a big movie star and you've got an Oscar, then you can do, you know, whatever you want. You can do your, your, your projects that you love. Um, but you know, when you're coming up in the ranks, you have to kind of, you know, give in to what people first perceive you as. So for me, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, quirky and, you know, I've red hair. So I'm, I'm more of the, you know, the best friend supporting, uh, you know, friend type. Really? You're not, you are not. You don't see yourself as a leading, leading You know what? If someone girl? sees me at a, as a lead, you know, my contact yeah, information is in the description is of this video. I, you know, I definitely do. I know it's, um, it's, it's a, that's a tough question to ask. To, yeah. I do. I do. But you know, it's not up to me. It's up to casting. And so that's why I, I try to do as many, you know, non-union things as possible and, you know, indie movies because, you know, people, you know, if you're good, if you're good, then people kind of overlook, you know, maybe she's not exactly the type or whatever. Well, one of the things that you and your husband have started is the screen actor system. Yes. Tell me about that. Screen Actor System is uh, we won the Backstage Reader's Choice Award for uh, Best Los Angeles On Camera Acting Class. <laughs> oh, really? And, That's uh, cool. Yeah, Ryan is a is is a brilliant director. He's he's directed you know Owen Wilson, Brad Pitt, Kristen, um, what Kristen? One of those Kristens. And um, <laughs> wig? <laughs> no, not Kristen. I love Kristen Wig. Um, oh, anyway, uh, and I have and, a disease when it comes to names too. I, I know. <laughs> Um, but Ryan started off, you know, acting in, uh, you know, conservatory in, in, uh, in college and he's, he's absolutely brilliant. And, uh, but his, his love was directing. And so he came at it from an actor's point of view and moved into, into directing as I come at it from an actor's, you know, moving into editing and doing all that stuff and having a, you know, a, a big range of things that you do, not just one singular, I'm a director, or one singular, I'm an actor. So what we do at Screen Actor System is uh, we teach the technical aspects of film acting and, you know, how to get there emotionally, but hold your frame and have really sp- uh, specific points of focus. And yeah, know where your um, light is. Know where your light is and know <laughs> what the, the lens is. Light. Am I in yeah. a wide? Yeah. Am I in a close? You know, right. uh, don't wave your hands through the air. Don't be theatrical. We're talking about, you know, we're, we're splitting blades of grass here with our technique and um, it's, it's, it's very technical, but it, it works. And uh, one of our students. Who are typical <clears throat> students? And don't tap your labs. Don't tap your labs. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. When you're in the editing, you're going to give the boom man a, a heart attack. I, Poor guy. I love giving the boom guy, uh, the, our audio guy, drives him crazy. Hello, Ed. Hello. Can you hear? Hello. Do it. Just go ahead and drive him crazy. Very <laughs> perfect. perfect. I've got to work with drives him. Drives him nuts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's going to yell at me. Oh, it's going to be terrible. What was the question? Oh, our students. Um, one of our students um, just, he uh, booked uh, two lead roles in, in two Spike Lee films. And, and oh, cool. uh, we have a really wonderful actress. She She's on a Nickelodeon show. And uh, we're all shooting the, 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 we have an order of six episodes for Sketchy, which we're all really excited about. And, and that's all of Ryan's actors. That's and great. So it's a, it's more of a, an improvisational kind of, a, you know, the dialogue is improv um, with a general outline. I think that's just so important for an actor. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's just improv. Oh, absolutely. Take all those classes, hon. And it's important <laughs> not to talk over each other because in the edit, that screws it up. And, and you know, it's very technical. Um, well, if you have a good sound guy who's actually got, you know, a couple of uh, little controls here with the two microphones and stuff him? like that. Oh, no, it's Give not. him a gift. It's easy. Robert Altman did it all Give the time. him a gift. Done. Walter Murch. He would say, don't talk over each other. Make it as easy for me as possible or else you'll be doing a, uh, Apocalypse Now for how, how how long was it? Eight years or something? Yeah, but they, they ended up looping the entire movie. So it doesn't make oh, any difference. There you go. Brando. With it his... was 99% looped. <laughs> it got terrible audio out in the field. 
For people that want to know how to keep track of you and to hire you for their next major market feature film, where can they go oh, on the yes, web? Oh, yes, please do contact me, uh, Suzanne Lachos at gmail.com. And to check out our, our film acting class at ScreenActorsSystem.com. That's all one word, Screen Actors System, ScreenActorsSystem.com. And Suzanne Lachos is our delightful guest. Suzanne, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate having you with us. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.